Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a soft cataract. There is posterior subcapsular opacity. The patient is diabetic for 12 years. Though soft, this kind of cataract is not easy to manage. Let us see how we can manage this case. This is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. This is phenocaine which contains xylocaine, tropicamide and phenylephrine. And this is visco 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. Now capsulorexis is to be done. I use a utrita forceps for doing capsulorexis. The central part of the capsule is punctured. We go towards 4 o'clock, hold on side of the cleft and go anticlockwise and do the rexis. Size of this rexis is about 5.25 millimeter. Now hydrodissection is done. Though this cataract appears soft, it is not easy to divide into pieces in a routine way, divide and conquer on stop and chop. It does not want to separate. Pre-chopper is a good option in such cases. So two instruments, the sustainer must hook the equator otherwise it may not divide. One heminucleus has been divided. So we have got three pieces, one heminucleus and the other heminucleus has been divided into two pieces. And now is the time to go into the anterior chamber with handpiece. I rotate the nuclear mass several times, go into the cleft and try to get on piece out of the bag. See, though I have divided it, still there is some attachment and it does not want to come. But pre-chopper has helped a lot and on heminucleus has been managed by this time. Now the other heminucleus, I just pierce it with the sustainer, I divide it from posterior aspect, come anteriorly and it has no other option but to divide and it gets emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 50 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And now some visco is injected to fill up the anterior chamber and the capsular bag and cortical cleanup is to be done now. I have only one side port and I use a Simco cannula to remove most of the cortex through the main wound. The anterior chamber does not become shallow because it is 2.8 millimeter wound, the anterior all of the wound is lifted up, there is visco and now the side port is small. So I am going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of the subincisional cortex. This is a totally unedited recording and you are not missing anything, real speed unedited video. And now the irrigation probe lifts the anterior wall of the main wound and the aspiration cannula removes the subincisional cortex. It is done. And now the posterior capsule is clean, cortical cleanup is done nicely and hydro implantation 
of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being done. So, here goes the lens. I am feeling some resistance because the loading was not proper in the trailing end, but the lens has gone into the capsule bag and now it is ok. The optic has been covered all around by the rexis margin. This is moxifloxacin. Now, the side port is closed by stromal hydration. The main wound is triplanar. It is self sealing. It does not require any hydration most of the time. In 99 percent of my surgeries, the main wound does not require any hydration. It is self sealing. This is formation of the anterior chamber and now integrity of the wounds are checked. There should not be any leakage from any wound. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.